Hello, and welcome to the Thoroughgood Associates video on Power BI custom visuals. My name is George Brown, and I'm a business intelligence consultant with Thoroughgood Associates. Thoroughgood is a Microsoft certified gold partner and a member of the Power BI red carpet program. Today, I'll be doing a quick demonstration of one of the key new features of Microsoft's Power BI, custom visuals that can be created, submitted, and used in business applications very easily. So what does it mean for business users who need to understand and make important decisions based on their data? Essentially, if Power BI doesn't already have a visualization that your business needs, it's easy to create new ones that plug in directly to your application. To show you the opportunities to extend Power BI's capabilities with custom visuals, I'll show two dashboards. So in this first dashboard, I've already pulled in data from a few different tables. You can see I have some of the basic visualizations that came out in the first release of Power BI. A couple cards and a gauge for key high-level metrics like revenue, along with an area chart down below, and a tree map that can be filtered for in-depth analysis. For example, if I want to look at just my casualty information in this insur insurance example, I can filter and it'll apply a cross filter to the rest of my visualizations. But some things aren't as easy to do with native visualizations or could be improved. For example, the card just shows me my total claim amount, and I might want more information than just the value in the card, or I might want to select a specific time frame in my area chart. While these tasks might be difficult or impossible on this dashboard, I can use custom visuals to accomplish them. Now, I'll go to the custom visuals gallery on PowerBI.com to see if there are any visuals that might be helpful for my dashboard. You can see a bunch of visuals right here in the visualization gallery on PowerBI.com. All of these were created by users using JavaScript, and all of the code is available. They offer lots of different functionalities that might be useful for your business, so you want to explore a little bit and see what's around. Right now, I'll click on the dial gauge, and when I click on a visual, I can see who it's published by and a short description. Here, the, the example is with sales, and there are different colors for different targets within this gauge. All I have to do is download the visual and agree to the terms of use, and it'll give me a PBI viz file. So in order to import this into my report, what I'll do is I'll click on the ellipses right here in the visualizations area. It'll ask me if I want to import a custom visual, and I'll select OK. And then I can select the dial gauge. And it successfully imports into my report. Now, I can select the dial gauge option right here, and it automatically adds a dial gauge to my dashboard. So now I'll want to bring in some of my data. I want the gauge to look pretty similar to the first one. So what I'm going to start by doing is bringing in the target annual revenue as my maximum. That needs to be the sum, not the count. Then I'll bring in 80% uh, of my total to be where my, the start of my target is, and another measure called 90% of my total, which will be the end. Finally, for my pointer value, I'll need to bring in my actual annual revenue. And lastly, what I'll do is I have a measure called gauge percent. And what I'll do here is have it show the percent complete of, of my target. So you can see I'm 89% of the way done. I'm still in the yellow, but as soon as I get to 90%, I'll be in the green. I'll be a lot closer to my target of 516 million. And what this does is it would allow a director to have a quick glance at the gauge and see that I'm just shy of 90% of the way to my goal. So you can also see on this dashboard that I have one more custom visual right down here. And this is called the brush chart. I've already added it over here, but if I hover over the visualization, you can see the, the brush chart was added in the same exact way as I added my dial gauge. What this does is it, it allows me to segment my data a little bit more in depth than the area chart that just gave me the broad overview in my first dashboard. Here, if I want to see what my data looks like specifically from 2006 through 2007, for example, I can select that time frame on this visualization, and in the top area, I'll get a, a zoomed-in look at what my paid loss was like over that time period. And of course, I can hover and see all of my data just like before. We see a few of the drastic peaks and valleys of paid loss during this time period, and we're interested in them, but with the built-in visual, we can't easily investigate this information. However, with this custom visual, we now have the seamless ability to zoom into a particular time frame that we want to investigate. I've also added a KPI indicator to give a graphical visual representation of annual revenue. This is a very new visualization that just came out in the February 2016 release of Power BI. 
Thanks for watching and feel free to email me if you have any questions about Power BI or how custom visuals work.